All right, welcome back to your sixth tutorial on how to create Word documents. And in this tutorial, we will look at how to create tables. And to do that, I'll just create a new class. And I'm going to call it tables. And so in here, we are going to create our tables. So let's import the classes we're going to need for that. So the first class is going to be the org apache poi um, xwpf user model dot xwpf document. Then the next thing is going to be the org apache poi xwpf user model xwpf uh, table then the next thing is going to be the org apache poi xwpf user model xwpf table row and the last thing is going to be the org apache poi xwpf user model xwpf table cell so for those who worked with me through the uh, Excel tutorials should be a little familiar with that. So you should know about the row and the cell. And last but not least, to save the data on our hard drive, we need to import the Java I.O. file output stream. All right. So first, let's create our main method. So let's say public static void main uh, string square brackets arcs and then I'll just create my, my document up here. So I'll say xwpf document doc equals to new xwpf document. And I always like to put the try catch block right away, so I'll just uh, put some space in here and, uh, and just say try. Uh, and we want to try to create a new file output stream called it output equals to new file output stream. And I'm going to call this document tables.docx. And then, of course, we have to write the document in here. So we will say doc.write in the output. And last but not least, let's close the output again. And after the try, try block, uh, write catch, catch the exception E. And we want, just want to print the stack trace. All right, so now we have all our imports and all the necessary things we need to create our document. Now let's create a table. To do that, we have to type in XWP. We have to say XWPF table, and I'll just call it table because we'll just create one, and that equals to document dot create table now if we just say that and run it we can look at the document what it looks like to have one empty ta table in our uh, in our project so I'll open up tables.docx and you can see there's one lonely table in here so let's try to fill it in with some nice content. So first we have to create the row. So we'll have to say xwpf table row and I'll just call it uh, row 0 because that's going to be the first row and that equals to table dot get row and we have to get the row at row number 0. 
and I spelled table wrong. All right, so now we have our table, uh, our row at row number zero. And next we have to get the cell at cell number zero. So we have to say xwpf table cell, and I'll also call it cell zero, equals to, um, and we get it from the row. So we'll say row zero dot get cell at zero and from the from there we can change the text to whatever we want it to be so we can say cell zero dot set text and I'll just set it to uh, chicken pot pie all right so that's going to be an awesome document if I open up tables.docx, you can see now there's one little table that says chicken pot pie. And apparently I spelled it all wrong. Chicken, chicken, oh, all right. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. So that's how you create a table. Oh, sorry, a table. And if we want to add rows and add columns, so let's just add columns. You just can say uh, xwpf table cell and I'll call it cell1 equals to row 0 dot create cell and then it's going to create a new cell at number 1 and then of course we can say cell1 dot set text to uh, pancakes Then if we run that and open up our awesome document, you can see now there are two separate places in here that says one time chicken pot pie and one time pancakes. And of course if you want to create a new row, you just can say xwpf table row, uh, row one equals to table dot uh, create row and then it's going to create a new row and then if we look at that you can see that it created a new row all right so that's the most basic uh, thing you can know about the table so, you know, how to create tables, how to create rows, and then get the cells out of the rows, and get the rows out of the table. And I guess that's it for this tutorial. But until then, thank you for watching. Hope you, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions left or any suggestions, any... Anything you want to tell me, just leave a comment below. I'll be glad to help you anywhere. And I'll be happy to see you in the next tutorial.